Hello, my name is Stephen and I am representing Steadymaker. We are talking about the Steadymaker Tank Plus and we are going to look at the different modes that the Steadymaker Tank Plus offers you. We have talked about unboxing and balancing your stabilizer. Once you have unboxed it and balanced it and it's ready to go, we can talk about the different shooting modes that you can use. If I switch the motors on, a little switch at the side here, you'll hear it beep and then you'll see the motors adjust to find a stable and level setting. So my Steadymaker Tank Plus is now set up and ready to shoot. The motors are on and the camera is uh, running. Now the default mode, the first mode when you switch on the Steadymaker is what's called follow mode. Follow mode means that the camera will attempt to follow your pitch and your yaw. This means your up and down and your left and right. Wherever you point your stabilizer, the camera will attempt to follow this. For example, if I pitch down, then the camera will follow in a downward motion. If I pitch back up, the camera will attempt to follow upwards. So this is your pitch down and your pitch up. And also it will attempt to follow in the yaw. This means your left and right pointing. So if I turn the camera to the left, then the stabilizer will turn the camera to attempt to match where I'm pointing it. Turn it to the right and the stabilizer will point to the right. This is what's called follow mode. Follow mode means the camera will follow in the pitch and the yaw. Now obviously it won't follow in the roll because we want our camera to be straight and level to counteract our movements. So the camera remains stable in the roll axis. If I switch the button once, you'll hear it beep again. And this mode is the same mode as when you switch it on. So it's the default follow mode. The reason we have this duplicated is if your motors have a problem when you switch it on, you have an alternative mode to use. If there's a problem with the stabilization or the gyros, something freezes, something doesn't go right, you can make one quick press and that will reset to follow mode. So we have a duplicate follow mode when you switch it on and when you hit the button once. There's a silver button on the front, we'll hit it once here. I'll set it back down. You'll hear one beep. Now you won't notice any difference. This is still the default follow mode. Like I said, this is a redundancy. This is a backup for your follow mode when you switch it on. If I do two quick presses, this will lock the camera in the pitch. Uh, now this is very good for when you're shooting outdoors, for example. So two quick presses. You'll hear another series of beeps. Now, if I pitch up and down, you will see that it keeps the camera straight and level to the ground. Pitch up, pitch down, and the camera stays straight and level. If I, however, turn to the left, turn to the right, it is still following in the yaw axis. Now the reason this is useful, if you're outdoors and you're shooting, for example, you're shooting a low angle, you will tend to uh, pitch the stabilizer a little forward when you're holding it low to the ground because you tend to lean a little forward. Uh, the camera will stay level to the ground. Instead of attempting to pitch down and follow where you're pointing, it will stay straight and level. Also, for when you're doing very high angles, you can see if I'm almost above my head, the camera is still maintaining a straight and level perspective. So this is very good for either very high or very low angles. Now, if we do three quick presses, you'll hear it beep again. And now the camera is locked both in the pitch and the yaw. So now it will maintain a straightforward and also straight and level perspective wherever you point the stabilizer. So you can see I'm changing the stabilizer to the left and the right and the camera is locked facing forward. It is not moving. If I pitch down, if I pitch up, again, the camera maintains a straight and level perspective. This is locked in both the pitch and the yaw axis. And finally, if you encounter a problem with your camera, if it is not uh, showing a level horizon or if it's not balanced correctly, for some reason the motor looks off or it looks unstable once you switch it on, there is what we call a calibration mode. 
Now, this is not as comprehensive as connecting it to your computer to fully calibrate your stabilizer. However, it is a small calibration mode to try to maintain um, a, a new balance for your camera, okay? It's four quick presses. Now, if you let go, what it's doing is it's trying to rebalance to reset the motors, okay? So now it has rebalanced the camera. You hear a series of beeps, and if you look at your stabilizer, you will see a series of micro adjustments with the gimbal motors. It's trying to rebalance the camera to find the optimal balance for your camera. So to summarize, when you switch the stabilizer on, you will have what's called the default follow mode. This follows in the pitch, the up and down, and the yaw, the left and right. It will attempt to point the camera where you are pointing the stabilizer. One quick press is the same. It's the default follow mode because we have a redundancy in case there's any problems when you switch the camera on or when you go into the first mode. So you can switch between those two modes. They're duplicate mode. Two presses gives you your locked in the pitch axis. This means it will maintain the camera in a straight and level pitch. It will still follow in the yaw in the left and right. Three presses will lock the camera in the pitch and the yaw. So it will just maintain a straight level and forward pointing camera no matter where you point the stabilizer. And four quick presses will give you a calibration mode. This means it will attempt to rebalance the gimbal motors and reset the camera to a straight and level. This isn't an operational mode, this is just to help you rebalance the camera if you have any problems. The most important thing to remember is though, balancing before you do this is key. If you successfully balance your camera manually with the motors and the power switched off in the cradle so that the camera is straight and level in the cradle, then you will have a much easier time using the different modes and you will find your shooting is much more accurate. So remember, always balance the camera manually as accurately as possible first and then choose the mode that's most appropriate for you. Hope that helps you. Uh, we're going to look a little more into how to rebalance and stabilize the motors through a software and a USB interface in an upcoming video. Otherwise, check out the other videos and hopefully you will enjoy your shooting with your SteadyMaker Tank Plus.